going on YouTube? Jelani from JelaniTheMarket.com here, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about day three of the 30-day challenge that I'm doing um, based off Trey Llewellyn's business plan that has been released via ClickFunnels. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out my other videos. There will be some links down below. But basically what I'm doing is a follow along. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to know when I post a new video, hit that alert button so you know and get a notification when I do. Because I'm going to be doing these videos every single day for the next 30 days and probably uh, beyond that, you definitely want to know when I post a new video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about my ManyChat sequence and what I'm doing in terms of getting people to get onto this sequence. Um, and I'll also give you an update in regards to if the company reached back out to me. So let's actually start there. So. I got an email today um, from the company saying, you know, we have a we have back issues, but you have to buy them, which is fine, totally okay. Um, so they gave me actually a link here um, that has all their different magazines. So this is uh, where they are um, located in the UK. So my favorite magazines, you can see it's spelled differently, um, but this is where they send people for or, uh, back issues. So you can see here, there's all different types of back issues for design, film, gaming, music, photo, home interest, tech, outdoor and leisure, knowledge. So you can definitely use this website guys um, and I'll post a link down below but you can definitely use this website to find the back issues for the different niches that you may be going into right if you're going to film or photography or tech whatever it is you can go to this website and find the back issues so like I said you do have to buy them which is kind of unfortunate but it's still available so what I'm gonna do actually so for example if I go into the gaming section you can see that there's there's different um, there's different gaming magazines and there's books and stuff like that um, but if you click on for example let's go into edge you can see view single issues and I could buy the different issues right so there that one's like 50 bucks I'm not buying that one but you can see here that this one's 12.99 this one's 12.99 12.99 12.99 so I could buy all of these um, and as single issues. so it says free shipping no hidden cost uh, we, we deliver to over a hundred countries um, but I'm trying to minimize costs, right? Like I'm not trying to spend $126 on seven magazines that I'm just going to cut up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to eBay. Okay. Now eBay has different back issues for, um, different magazines. So you can see here that these are all different back issues. So if you type in, uh, the, the magazine name, um, so for example, games TM, um, you can see that I'm going to get some uh, results back, right? So this is the one that I'm gonna buy. Um, it's $15 and it is what well, $5 shipping and it has, so if I click on it, um, it has 13 issues. So this lot consists of 13 issues of games team. So I'm excited about this actually. So I was looking on YouTube and I found this. I was like, oh snap. So um, I think this is the, what I'm looking for, right? 20 bucks rather than spending 126. This guy has some good feedback. Um, a thousand people have bought from him before. So we're gonna buy this. Um, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to click on buy it now. And technically I probably could make him an offer. Um, but I really, I 20 bucks is whatever, like it's 20 bucks. So we're just gonna go for it. Um, Visa, actually no, we're not gonna use privacy, so. I don't want this to come up. Let's exit out of that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video, purchase this, and then I'll be back. All right, guys, back here. So I just placed the order. Um, so what's gonna happen is by the 27th, hopefully, um, so that's next week, uh, next Thursday, hopefully that will be there. Um, so in the meantime, I'm gonna be doing some more prepping work and I'll show you guys that back end stuff that I'm doing. Um, maybe give you some more videos in regards to the funnel design and what I'm doing in terms of emailing. Um, but that is awesome. That's place. So that is a great resource for you guys just to go onto eBay and look up the back issues for the magazine. So, uh, what I, what I like to do is I like to keep track of all the, the things I've spent money on so far in this challenge. So I spent $8 on a domain name. I spent $20 on a, uh, on the back issues and then I spent $10 on the manage chat. So that's about, $38 so far on this whole entire challenge. So if I would have spent $126 here, I'd have been put, put you know, a lot of money. Um, so it's all about reducing the cost and seeing how this will work out for us. So now that we got our back issues 
um, coming in. The next part will be you know getting those back issues and then cutting them up, looking for products and brands that are consistent throughout all the back issues. So throughout all the 13 magazines that I'm going to receive, and then we can go from there. So while that is going, um, or while we wait until you know next week, I would like to show you um, what I'm doing in terms of many chat. So. If you don't know what ManyChat is, it's a chatbot um, platform that allows you to send out messages to people uh, via Facebook and Facebook Messenger. So I have a lot of videos on setting up ManyChat and stuff like that. So I'll post a link down below so that you guys can get that. Uh, but the reason why we're using ManyChat and not Opesta is um, because ManyChat has this um, one, it's, it's less expensive than Opesta. Although Opesta does have the pixel, um, it's less expensive. So what I'm trying to do is reduce, reduce costs for this challenge to make it more affordable for everyone else following along. So this is only $10. Um, and then they have the, the opt-in button. So what I'm doing here is on my um, landing page, um, I'm, it's not ready to be shown yet, but basically what someone can do to get additional entries to the contest is they can um, just check a box, which is this uh, growth tool here. Check box. They check the box and then they get a message that says, yo, 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 you wanna have an opportunity to win more prizes? Click the button below, right? So let's actually look into this. Um, I'll click on edit. And when they click on, I wanna know more, it's gonna send them a message, which is the questions, right? So all I'm asking for, for them is to reply back to the, these questions, right? So if you can reply to this message and let us know where you're from, what is your favorite game? Uh, what what is uh, what makes you passionate about video games? Let us know by responding to these messages, right? And then they can reply here, and then I just say, nice, thank you for letting us know. Uh, letting, letting us know that. You'll hear from us soon about how you can win awesome prizes, right? So these people are gonna look at this and then answer the questions, and then they'll be, um, they'll be opted in once they click on this button here. Uh, they'll be opted into a sequence here. Okay, so this is a, a seven day follow up sequence that's gonna mimic kind of my email sequence. This is not done, um, but as you see in the previous video, um, I have a survey email that goes out and this is gonna be a survey message, right? So people who say, um, you know, they, they check that message, I wanna know more about them so they can click on that survey. And then um, I say, you know, in a day or two, you're gonna be getting, getting another opportunity to take Part in some cool stuff so stay tuned later mate or I should say GG mate um, which is more like gaming uh, words like GG means good game so it kind of re resonates with the gaming um, audience more right so it's all about that like making that connection making it seem like you are interested which we are like to me this is cool because I like gaming but I also like marketing so I'm putting those two worlds together which is really really awesome um, so, one thing I am doing is people who, um, Manchat has a new thing called rules, so when people are subscribed to this sequence, um, I'm adding a tag, so started seven day follow up sequence, and I'm gonna add more rules as we go along. Um, but that's really cool as well, like you can do different things like add different condi conditions and then add a trigger based on that condition. So we can say, you know, if they're female or male, add a tag or, um, if they're in a different time zone or they subscribe to a certain um, sequence or opt in through a certain place like we could do different things like that which is really really powerful and gives us more functionality to target and retarget those people who are not doing what we want them to do which is interact with us so that we can get them to eventually um, eventually vote for a t-shirt that we're going to be designing so that they can buy that t-shirt so this whole end goal is to get people in the funnel so that they can you know, form a relationship with them but also hit them up with affiliate offers and also at the end of the 30 days we're gonna be doing a t-shirt um, sell basically. So help, they're gonna help us design a t-shirt and then they're gonna buy it, right? So that's what this whole challenge is about. Um, so this is really exciting stuff, really, really exciting stuff. So this is gonna be cool. The funnel that I'm gonna be showing you guys is, is in the works and I'm doing some really cool things um, working with some people from ClickFunnels giving me ideas. Um, one of my team leads is actually really, really awesome and you know he, he loves funnels so he's really helping me um, design this out and giving me really awesome ideas for membership funnels and contest funnels and all these different things. So it's gonna be really, really awesome to see how it forms and I'll show you guys that. I don't know if I'm gonna be giving you the funnel for free but I will show you it so maybe you can funnel hack it and you can do your own thing. 
Um, but yeah, so you'll be seeing that very shortly, soon, sooner than later. Um, but definitely, it's going to be awesome. So let's actually go back into this growth tool here. Um, and let's actually go and check this button out. So let's actually go to automation real quick. Hold on. Because I'm trying to, I'm, 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 Interesting. Okay, so what I didn't do here, which I can do right now, is I didn't actually subscribe them to this sequence, so unless I'm mistaken. So let's actually go back to our growth tool, check this out, set up. Yeah, it's fine, that's fine. So what I would like to do is add an additional um, button here. So what 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 you what you can do is once they click on this button, right, and they get this message sent, um, we can either we can either do two things. So we can either add an uh, action here. So when they click this button, they automatically get um, sent that sequence, that seven day follow up sequence. Or what we can do is when someone responds back to us, which is probably what I would like to do. So basically when someone responds back to our questions, we know that they're interested in what we have to say or what we're selling them or what we're telling them, right? So we can add an action. So we're gonna subscribe them to a sequence, which is gonna be the seven day follow-up sequence once they respond to this message, right? And then we can set up additional rules later and I can show you that um, once I set that up, but we can set up rules that say, you know, this person didn't respond to this, so we can subscribe them to another sequence that is trying to, um, you know, get them to respond or get them to interact so that we can um, form that relationship with them for later down the road when we're trying to have them design the t-shirt with us so that they can buy the t-shirt. So this is a really ongoing process, but it's really cool to see and it's really cool to kind of do it with you guys and formulate this and do it live kind of. Um, like I said, like I'm doing things on the back end just because it would take too much time um, to do everything like on YouTube. Um, but I'm going through the process with you. I'm going to show you guys the funnel. I'm going to show you how I set up this button to interact with the button on ClickFunnels. I'm going to show you all that stuff. And as I go through the process and add things and remove things, I'm gonna tell you that. I'm just really just building it and I'm on only on the what third day um, of this challenge. So you, you guys are kind of seeing it being built out, but you will see the final product. You will see the process of the final product, which is gonna be really, really cool. So I'm super, super stoked, guys. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit that alert button so you know when I post a new video because it's gonna be really, really fun um, to see this go, right? You're seeing it live basically you're seeing it happen so definitely hit that alert button so you know when i post a new video if you have any suggestions or comments leave a comment below i would like to know what you think should be um the next steps or what you think or or, or what you want to see what what do you want to see like i want to know what you want to see so i can film that for you guys this is the whole purpose is for you guys to learn and walk through it with me follow along and see the process as we go um, so if you have any comments, leave those below and like this video if you like this content, right? Like this follow along, give it a thumbs up. It really helps out. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on day four tomorrow. Stay tuned. Peace.